Hey guys, CS here, and welcome to Battlezone 98 Redux. Now, I am so excited to play this game, uh, but before I continue, let me just give you a brief history on the Battlezone franchise. Now, Battlezone was originally a tank-based shooter developed in the 1980s uh, with very simplistic graphics. And then in 1998, Activision acquired the rights to Battlezone and made it into a completely different game, uh, essentially adding first-person shooter and real-time strategy elements involving base building, resource collection, uh, and commanding an army, which basically took the original idea of Battlezone and just dramatically expanded it. And um, as a result, uh, Battlezone from 1998 became one of my favorite games of all time. Now the storyline of this game takes place in the 1960s uh, in which uh, Russia and the United States are in the middle of an arms race. In this kind of alternate reality, they take the arms race to space. And this is the story of the race for supremacy that occurred without the public's knowledge. <laughs> I've waited for the past four months to be able to play this Redux version, uh, which is basically graphically enhanced with some uh, some other tweaks as well. Uh, thanks to Rebellion Studios for putting all the hard work um, into remastering Battlezone, because uh, it's absolutely one of my favorite games, so I can't wait to play it. All right, so let's get right into it and watch the intro. Cycler. Deploy on Eastern Geyser and build Razor. Acknowledge, Grizzly One. Turret Two, take up position next to Turret One at Western Entrance. Yes, sir. Grizzly One, radar arrays detect an unidentified craft approaching from the northern canyon. Razor complete. Razor One, take my wing. Let's investigate. Yes, sir. Grizzly One, we have a large force approaching from the east. Await additional information. Grizzly One, bogey's dropped off radar. Razor One, take my six. On my way. I'm gonna thump him. Grizzly One, return to base immediately. We have a massive Soviet force approaching. I'm on my way. God, I cannot tell you how excited I am to play this. Like, I got my green lava lamp going. I've got my green striped shirt on today. Like, I am totally ready. Now, my game just updated a few days ago, and I think this is a recent addition uh, where it asks you to complete the combat exercises right up front, which is the training missions. I'm going to skip that for now, and I might leave the training missions for another video just for, uh, for kicks. <laughs> so we're going to choose the Stars and Stripes campaign, which has us play as the NSDF the National Space Defense Force. All right, so here's the mission briefing. Now, I'm not gonna read this entire thing. I'm just gonna read the mission objectives, and you guys can read the rest if you want. You can pause the video. So the objectives are get in a vehicle at Luna Outpost 3, have the recycler build a scavenger, and escort the scavenger as it gathers biometal. So, here we go. Sometimes it bugs me that Armstrong and Shepard get all the credit, but we all wanted to win the Cold War. Oh, wow, that is a much more detailed lunar lander than I remember. And we were ready to commit our lives to getting the biometal. The military boys used all the material that had fallen to Earth, and they still needed more. They went looking for a few cowboys to do the jives, and in the end, they orchestrated the world's biggest cover-up. They snuck a whole army into space, and not a soul knew a thing. time. People should know why it was so important that we won the space race. People should know what happened to all those who went missing. The dead should get their honors. They should have their place in history. 
because history has a way of repeating itself. Satellite Commander, enabled. we've discovered a deposit of biometal along with some strange radar signatures. Build a scavenger and escort it to the biometal deposit. Oh man, this is awesome. Wow, look at these textures. I have to say, uh, if you've ever played the... If you're familiar with the uh, original 1988 version of Battlezone, this is an incredible step up. Wow. Actually, what I meant to do before I started was set the uh, difficulty. I'm going to... Oh, actually, never mind. <laughs> I already have it set to hard. This is what I was intending, because basically hard makes the enemies much harder to kill, gives them more armor, and also things that are more expensive to build. Okay, so first order of business is I need to choose a tank to get into. I'm going to go with the trusty, uh, well-rounded grizzly battle tank. This is like the standard uh, tank in the game. So uh, now... Down in the lower right hand corner you see what weapons I have to choose from. I got an AT stabber, I got a minigun, I got a thumper, which basically <laughs> creates a rift in the ground and can be useful for um, distracting enemies, and mortar shells. So boom, <laughs> you can detonate them automatic, er, manually. Okay, so, first order of business, I'm supposed to build a scavenger here at the recycler. Now the recycler is basically the um, called a building essentially that deploys and I can use it to construct troops, uh, ammo and repair. So I gotta build a scavenger, so I'm gonna press 1 to build a scavenger. Construction started. That's gonna cost me 4 scrap. And I'm just explaining things for anyone who building isn't complete. familiar with the game because I have a feeling a lot of people watching this from my channel don't know this game, so I'm just gonna explain things as they come. And the scavenger is gonna automatically start scavenging for scrap metal on the battlefield. So. Let's go ahead and follow him, and make sure he stays protected. Now I'm also going to link my weapons together. I'm going to link my AT stabber and minigun, so I'm firing them both at once. And there's going to be some Soviet fighters coming out soon to disrupt uh, this scavenging operation. we got to make sure we defend the scavenger at all costs. Oh, we've got a there we go. Unidentified vehicles are approaching your position from the south. Let's take them out. Ooh. Wow, this guy's... Boom. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Alright, continue defending the scavenger. Now, as the missions progress, they're going to get a lot more difficult. And I might have a hard time because I don't know if I've done the entire campaign on hard difficulty. I've done some missions, but not all of them. And it's going to be probably... Quite challenging. Ah, come here, you. No, you're not getting that scavenger. <laughs> don't, don't worry. I got it. We're not heavily outnumbered. <laughs> not yet, at least. <laughs> you call that heavily outnumbered? All right, now there's going to be. Wow, look at the god, those lighting. I can't go over the lighting effects. That is awesome. <laughs> also, I'm recording this in 60 frames per second, so hopefully it. Looks Report. awesome on output. Unfortunately, we've got another scavenger out there that's being threatened by uh, the You guys. Alright, I'm on my way. Where is he? Where's where's the Soviet wingman? There he is. Come here, you. Not taking out my scavengers. Boo hoo hoo. <laughs> nice. They also colored the scrap pieces now, too. Before they were just, like, a uh, more neutral color. Now they actually have some... Oh. Under oh, oh no! Eagle's Nest 1 is under attack! Let's get back there. Although I think the gun towers we have there should take care of it. Gun towers are mighty powerful defenses. Yeah, there we go. We got, a, got some gun towers looking out for the base. Alright. I think we're almost done with this here. Yeah, let me take a look at another look at that Lunar Lander. That is awesome. This is a much better model than the old Lunar Lander. I think I'll put up a side-by-side -side comparison in editing. Good work, Grizzly One. We've confirmed that the hostile vehicles are of Soviet origin. They've maneuvered around Outpost 3 and are headed towards Eagle's Nest 1. Await further orders from NSDF Command. Alright, so, completion of the first mission, and I got an achievement for that. Cool. <laughs> All right, so um, I'm not going to read all this, but if you guys want to pause the video, you can read the uh, mission completed briefing. So this is mission two. We need to fight off attacking units, use the recycler to build some defensive turrets, 
and stand by for additional orders. And there's actually a lot that happens in this mission, so I'm really excited to see this the in... on the moon got intense. Okay. Sorry. But it was only the beginning of what was to come. The Soviet surprise attack caught us all with our pants down. We never even had time to bury our dead. So I like how the loading screen gives you like a profile of some of the units in the game. That's, that's really cool. This is General Collins, Commander. You're just in time. The first Soviet attack has destroyed all of Eagle's Nest 1's defenses. Check your radar. We've got additional Soviet forces coming in from the southeast. They're targeting the command tower and our solar arrays. Protect these structures at all costs. No scrap them, storage. Alright, gotta make sure we don't lose the command tower or the solar arrays. Come here, you guys. Oh crap. Oh crap. We might lose them right away. <laughs> Come here, I gotta look at my weapons. There we go. That gives me some more firepower. Boom. Alright, where's the other guy? Get over here. Alright. Okay. Recycler. Where's the power? Deploy on the geyser. The Soviet forces are withdrawing, Commander. It won't be long before they regroup for another attack. The NSDF Recycler Montana has been called back to the base. She's a training vehicle, but she does have turret building capability. Use her to build some turrets and set up a defensive perimeter around the base. Okay. So I just deployed the uh, the recycler onto a, a geyser. Building they basically complete. use geysers um, as their main power source. Uh, to operate. Okay, so I'm building these defensive turrets and I'm going to take them with me and I'm going to deploy them around this area for additional protection. So right in front of the command tower is probably a good location. And also I gotta defend the Recycler Montana as well because there will be some attack waves coming specifically for the Recycler. recycler here. Construction started. And uh, luckily we already have some scavengers here gathering scrap metal. Now you can see at the top of the screen uh, the, how much scrap I currently have to work with. Um, and that uh, basically allows me to build new units. And if you see in the upper left, uh, you can see the uh, what I can build and how much it costs. Uh, in blue is how much scrap I'm spending started. on a particular unit. So, whoop, excuse, oh, excuse me, coming Badger through. Here. Okay, let's put another turret over there. Building complete. And let's take this third Badger turret here. and put it in front of the recycler. Here the ball. There's actually three things we need to defend. The other thing is the solar array back here. This is where all our power is currently coming from, so we've got to make sure we don't lose the solar arrays. Uh, if I remember correctly, they never attacked the solar arrays recycler that here. much. Um, uh, this is also why setting the game on hard makes it, <laughs> well, hard, because normally turrets would only cost like four or five scrap, in this case they cost six scrap, so I'm spending a lot more on my defense than I would if I had played the game on normal difficulty. Look at that, wow, take a look at that texture, that's awesome. Okay, so, take that last turret, come here, you, you're number four. Deploy it. Uh, no, don't deploy there. Deploy over here. You're the yeah. boss. Okay. So, in addition to these turrets, I'm going to be patrolling the perimeter and help them defend. Also, I just want to apologize if whenever I, like, move my tank this way, on the output recording, there tends to be some lag, and I don't know why that is. Because in-game, it's very smooth. But when I look at the recording, it's, like, choppy whenever I move in that direction. When I'm traveling like this, it's fine, but as soon as I, like, go, you know, like that, it's, it gets choppy. But anyway, Turn let's deploy. wait for the next attack. Recycler here. Construction started. Never have too many turrets. Oh, okay, here we go. Knock him out. Building complete. Boom. <laughs> uh, come back. There we go. All right. This is actually the first action game I've played on this channel, and also first modern game I've played on this channel, um, aside from Agario. <laughs> so, hopefully you guys are enjoying this. At least I have some time to look at these awesome textures. <laughs> Even the, the uh, stars in the background, the, um, the, the entire landscape has been transformed to actually feel like the moon. <laughs> Which, um, I, I can't say that was... Uh, it, it didn't feel as real back in 1998. So this, so let me explain some of the buildings. This here is the hangar, 
which allows for me to be automatically repaired. Uh, and you can see my ship's hull by looking in the lower right hand corner, that's the green bar. And then my ammo is in blue. Um, it looks like these turrets got things pretty locked down actually. Yeah, they, they don't even need my help. Boom. <laughs> Uh, wow, that scrap looks so awesome. So yeah, anyway, um, so my ammo um, is shown in blue at the bottom right, and that can be replenished by one of these supply depots. So whenever I get near it, my ammo gets replenished. I can also build, repair, and ammo pods at the recycler if I need to, but I don't need that right now. Construction started. Why not build a few more turrets? <laughs> Can't hurt. Just uh, gotta wait around for the attack Building waves, complete. anyway. No scrap on radar. Aw. Uh, whenever the scavenger says that, that means that they have acquired all the scrap that they are able to see. Do 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 do. do. I think there are some enemy turrets over here. If we go, if we're daring enough. Yeah, I mean, I can take some of these guys out because they're gonna become they're gonna become a problem a little bit later. Maybe I can deal with them now. Actually, I should probably use a mortar for. Try to attack them at long range. Well, my, <laughs> my aim is terrible, so that's not going to work out well. Ooh, that was a pretty good hit. One more. Oh, that's very close. Ha. Commander, reinforcements nice. are returning from outpost two. Rendezvous with the northern solar array. Okay, cool. They're sending us reinforcements. Let's go meet him. Awesome. Hey, you guys, can you follow me? Next. Leon. Excellent. Standing by. Whoa, follow oh, the leader. got some guys coming from this direction. Hey, don't attack my scavengers. Ooh, we got a Soviet tank here. Let's take him out. No, you don't. Okay, yes, you do. <laughs> Destroyed one of my scavengers. Hey. Ah, damn. Oh, crap. Oh, what? Well, okay. Hope that wasn't the APC trying to attack. Mm. Okay, good. The turret seemed to have taken care of it. Let us uh, rearm and repair ourselves here. Actually, can you guys stand by that turret and take a good look at some of these uh, the textures on these? <laughs> you guys are probably rolling your eyes at me right now, but wow. That is, that is awesome compared to what they looked like before. They put so much work into this, into redoing the models. Satellite oh. recon indicates that an overwhelming Soviet strike force has just landed to the north and to the west. Oh, geez. I'm ordering a full evacuation of Eagle's Nest 1. Repeat, we are pulling out of Eagle's Nest 1. All right, you heard the man. Commander, all of our key personnel have reached transports 1 and 2. Disregard all previous orders and escort these two transports to the north launch pad. Okay, so we gotta defend the transports. Uh, yes, new order to scout, Protecting defend that the one. Block. Tank, Standing you yes, defend that one. Whoops, I think I ordered you to do the wrong yes, thing. Sir. There we go. The okay, Awaiting orders. follow me. Following. Let's Awaiting go. Orders. Following. Gotta make it to the launch pad. You can kind of see it in the distance there. Okay, then now there, there is going to be, I suspect there will be a blockade of Soviet turrets along the way here. I already destroyed Commander, one previously, so... That is what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm on it. Alright, that's one down. Come on. Boom. <laughs> Alright. Last one. <laughs> All right. Whoa. Oh, wait a second. Oh crap. Hey, you guys are supposed to. Okay. All right. Never mind. Eagles. Uh, sorry. I thought the transports were under attack for a second. <laughs> I was like, oh no. Uh, Eagles Nest One is getting overrun. Yeah, I get the hell out of here. Come on, guys. Not too much further. Just a little bit up the hill. You can do it. <laughs> oh, come on, transport two. What are you doing? Alright, transport one minute. Come on, transport two. You can... Oh, boy. He got stuck. I have to push him. Come on. Go go around. Okay. <laughs> okay, there you go. You got it. Nice job. 
job, Grizzly One. Now, get to the launch pad. Okay. Good. You guys need me too, huh? All right. Well done, Commander. Well done. Attention all NSDF forces. We have successfully evacuated all ground personnel. However, we have lost Eagle's Nest One to the Soviets. We underestimated the Soviet strength. And we underestimated their commitment to controlling the biometal. And their intentions are clear. There goes the command tower. If it's a war they want, then it's a war they shall get. We're relocating to Mars. But we will reassert our standing as the world's greatest superpower. Oh god, they tore apart the entire base. We'll get our revenge though. We will get our revenge. Alright, so <laughs> looks like I get like one achievement per mission here. That's pretty cool. Alright, so uh, that is the uh, debriefing from the mission. Uh, you guys can read it if you want. But yeah, that was a lot of fun. I can't wait to play the next mission, which is going to be on Mars. So if you guys liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And um, until next time, this is CS signing out.